Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, got another Star Wars Black Series figure review for you today. Um, just in an effort to sort of go back and, and pick up some of the figures and review some of the figures that I sort of missed over the last few months. Uh, this is one from the Archive line, the latest wave of Archive figures and um, in my opinion one that definitely shouldn't be missed, especially if you miss the original version, but this is probably an ideal, um, ideal figure for the Archive. Um, in that it needed some fixing up. Um, I don't have the original one on hand at the moment. It's still somewhere in this room. Um, <laughs> I'll find it eventually. But I did end up customising my original one because she was about that much taller. Like, she was a good head taller than this figure originally. Um, they just made the legs too tall. Um, so, yeah, this time they've gone back and they've they've evened out the size of her, of Princess Leia here in her Boosh outfit do you say Boosh or Bausch? I, I've always just said Boosh. That's just how I've always read it. I don't know if it's correct. <laughs> I don't know anyone that said it. But um, yeah, so I think this was a good one to re-release. Again, I still think the archive line should just be, you know, transferred into the main line. In, in the cut sort of separate coloured boxes, I think. You know, having this on the um, in the green box with the, the rest of the figures in Return of the Jedi would have been a really nice addition. But um, yeah, this is this is a very very nice update. Um, again, like I said, shorter legs. The only sort of glaring issue that I do have is that slight off color. You can even just see it at the bottom leg joint. So I assume this bottom half of the leg is new, um, just to make it a little bit shorter. Whereas I did. What I'd done with my original one was cut it off at the thigh, drilled out some new holes, and then put them up, up there, so it was a little bit higher. But um, while it did do for, for for the meantime, I was I was very happy to replace it with um, with a new one. So it does come with the staff again. Yeah, it's not not a lot of paint detail on that one, but that's all right. You know, it is. You know, it gets by. It's fine. It doesn't need to be super duper special the figure's pretty damn good so it does come with the the remote which is pegged onto the side i actually glued this one on <laughs> um i may end up removing that um just because I, I know i've got the one on the old one loose so i just thought you know if i eventually just i knew i'd lose it at some point so i just decided to um glue that on but i, I may cut it off and just be able to use it as a solid um as a solid bomb grenade thermal thermal detonator that's the word i was thinking of thanks everyone <laughs> so yeah that's that's on there but uh, yeah having that on there does restrict the arm so i may just slice it off and just have the um have it on its own but yeah otherwise details all nice the helmet fits well um as you can see i've got a safety pin not a safety pin one of those just on there that was just to sort of help it when it sort of came out the box it was sort of just it stuck out wanted to stick out that way um and i just thought a nice way to just keep it neat and tidy and especially on the shelf when it's you know it's at the back you can't see it i just decided to put that uh paper clip on there you know the figures posed up like that you can't tell but it just sort of keeps it tidy and out of the way which is the main reason I did that and you know hasn't caused any damage to it so I'm happy with that so yeah pretty much not much else different with this figure aside from those legs um, the, the the head the paint apps on the head sculpt are much much nicer obviously they've gone with the photo reel and uh, I was quite happy with this one because um, the original one while I didn't have photo reel uh, the eyes were applied just that you know that marginal off you know like slightly on her eyelid and it just it did it bugged me from the moment i got that figure years ago um so i always just kept the helmet on but this one is actually quite nice so hopefully the uh, light's picking that up well but yeah it actually looks quite quite nice I think it's a reasonably nice likeness of, of Carrie there as Princess Leia. 
take a look at the helmet. I've always loved this helmet design. I think it's really cool. But yeah, that's a, it's a nice snug fit. It doesn't look too big. I know some people have said it looks a little bit too big. But I think it works okay. And a perfect world, a swap out head would be much better than you can sort of scale this down a little bit. But I don't think it's too bad. So just digging all the details. Looks nice. Some little bits there on the on the backpack there which is removable but again I uh, I glued it in <laughs> that's, that's what I do I don't like losing accessories and I'm never gonna take them off so it's just why not just leave them on there keep them there safe good articulation all out you know still still quite old for the articulation but it works um, you know the fact that there were no pins in the elbows on this figure at all ever from the get-go it was sort of a good one from the start obviously it does have the pins in the uh, in the knee joints the double joint knees but again that's that's not a problem I, I quite like the fact that they're pretty well sculpted into the um, or the joints are sort of in the sculpt so they don't really jump out at you unless you're gonna pose her up you know, but for the most part, I think she's probably just going to stand there um, with the fabulous Chewbacca, which has just come out in the uh, vintage black series. If things aren't confusing enough, um, so I'll be reviewing that one next, and I'll I'll give you a look at both of them together because I think that's cool. So yeah, stay tuned in the coming days for for Chewbacca, because that's uh, one I wanted to look at. Give her the vibro staff. Oh, she looks good like that, to be honest. I think she looks really good. I do like the idea that, you know, maybe the helmet is a little bit too big, but that's because she's in disguise. It's not her outfit. It wasn't made for Leia. Um, so that's kind of my sort of headcanon, if you will. But yeah, a, a nice a nice addition. Um, again, if you missed out on the original release, uh, this is one to get a hold of. Still sort of floating around out there in some places, um, despite sort of being out for pro probably a few, quite a few months now. Um, yeah, worth, worth picking up. A nice classic one from the original trilogy. And if you can get a hold of the new Chewbacca, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, they pair really well together. So thanks for checking out Boosh, Leia in Disguise from Return of the Jedi. This is the Archive Wave 5. I don't even know anymore. <laughs> it's, they're too confusing and too far gone with wave numbers. It's, it, I don't even bother keeping track anymore. But yeah, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. Please send out in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you in the coming days for the counterpart Chewbacca, her prisoner. All right, folks, we'll see you then. Till then, may the force be with you always.